This will be my next video on set theory uh, level two. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the axiom of extensionality. I abbreviated it up here, you know, AX of E, uh, just to be short, because I had a lot of things I needed to um, put up on this board, but it would not have been possible if I wrote out the whole, you know, axiom of extensionality title. So let's uh, go right into it. Let's suppose we have set A, you know, 1, 2, 3, set B, 3, 1, 2, set C, 2, 1, 3. Now, if you notice all these numbers are the same, yes, it's to, it's to illustrate a point. Okay, so if all the elements in A are the same as all the elements of B, and all the elements of B are the same as you know, C, then you know that implies that A is the element of C. And this is pretty uh, pretty intuitive, but it's important to uh, get a mathematical uh, rigor for it because using um, this, these proofs and uh, again the axiom of extensionality, you'll be able to prove a lot of different uh, set the a more advanced and uh, not so intuitive set theory topics. And again, this can be simply put as, you know, uh, set A is isomorphic to B, which is isomorphic to C. And then, um, let's suppose, but here, this is this is a little different. Let's suppose we have set A, which is 3 and 2, set B, 2 and 4, and then set C, 3 and 2. Now, as you can see, set A has, has the same elements, uh, just in different order, as set C. Now, B, however, has a different element, as 4, as opposed to 3. So, uh, saying that all the elements in A are a member of C is false. Now, when you see this upside down T, that denotes uh, logical falsity, where a normal T, a subscript T, is uh, taut tautological or true. Uh, so they, they'll be using those symbols frequently because it's necessary uh, to illustrate concepts, and it's also you know a simple way of you know, negation and uh, th thing, things like that. We're going to dive into that a little later. And uh, that there, um, this actually, oh, I should put this. Uh, therefore, does uh, not imply. That uh, actually, that's not quite right either. Um, so saying all elements, I I might I meant to put here actually was B, because uh yeah, come no mistake there. So uh, uh, all elements of A are not uh, not are all elements of A are not included in uh, in B. So that this implies that A is not isomorphic to B. Yeah, that's that's just a little mistake I made. Uh, sorry about that. But so uh, again, illustrating the concept is. Yeah, you can use mathematical logic to prove a lot of things. Uh, the axiom of extensionality intuitively is pretty straightforward and simple to understand. But um, again, you have to just uh, pay attention to the sets and uh, make sure that you are following along because I obviously made a little mistake here. So elements A are in B and uh, again, another mistake are true. So you just you know, write tautology. And uh, this implies that A is isomorphic to B. Now that you can't necessarily um, right away from that imply that B is not equal to C unless you have like another line of proof. Uh, we're going to be talking about that a little later also. Okay, so this wraps up uh, video two in the topic and that is it.